Coming at you from Munster, Texas today, a little small north central Texas town that I grew up in. Walking down a gravel road. It just feels good. So today's message is about communicating and being the greatest communicator you can be, we can be. And the, the written word and the spoken word has a tone to it. And when I think of great communicators, they all had great conviction. They were all passionate about what they believed, but they had a wonderfully gracious way of, of pulling people into their table, to their discussion, and softening things up to where much better communication took place. Communi the written communication and spoken communication with a, with a gracious tone to it, where you, you, find, you found things getting done. So when I think great communicators, and some of the names I list, you may say, well, I wasn't a fan of that person. It doesn't matter. They were a good communicator, and they were effective at bringing people to the table. I think of Mandela. I think of Martin Luther King. I think of Winston Churchill. I think of Abraham Lincoln. I think of Ronald Reagan. I think of Oprah Winfrey. I think of those are the type of communicators that very rarely would you see. Even if they were communicating with somebody that was looked at something the exact opposite way, they never came. The written or the spoken word usually wasn't hateful. It was, it was written or spoken in a way. I, if you go back, man, it's so fun to read uh, Churchill, Lincoln, and, and Reagan's speeches. And uh, amazing. And, and it wasn't, this wasn't all, hey, let's just bring in a bunch of speechwriters. We're talking about people that, that wrote their own speeches. Um, but here's the thing. It's, it's how, the tone that you choose is so important. It's so prevalent today and it always has been prevalent you people people take a hateful tone social media has just really exposed it people see something they, people write something or they see something written and they don't like it so they they attack it with with a with bad tone hateful tone in their words their, their, their written words and then or, or they'll write something and somebody will start attacking it and they'll attack back and they just the the tone is, is very caustic. And the difference is, and there, here's the thing, it's you can be a great communicator and have great conviction and passion in what you believe in. That's very important to remember, remember I think. Um, it's, it's when you come at, when you, when you lay your beliefs out there, are you doing it in a way that's turning people off? Or like, wait a second, I don't really agree with what he or she's saying, but I'm up for this conversation. That's the magic in, in, in being a great communicator. I, I struggle with it sometimes. I, I try to work on it. The, sometimes the hardest situations are with our spouses, our kids, and, and everybody. Uh, tough situations at work and, and whatnot. So um, it's just something to work on. A lot of times it's just thinking about it, hitting that pause button, flushing the green before you go into a situation where you're getting ready to speak your words or write your words. And you say, listen, let me see... If I can present myself and project myself in a way where even the people that don't believe the way I believe, so you know what? I'm willing to sit down with him or her and have a discussion. I love y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Live, love, laugh, and serve big today. And do everything you can to light up the planet, my friends. Be good.